Welcome all to this episode of AK by Lecture series. In last few classes, you studied routing cytogenetics and banding techniques. Although banding was developed and used primarily to identify chromosomes in different species, banding studies combined with the ultrastructural studies also provided insight into the substructure and organization of whole chromosomes. I think you are familiar to this picture uh, if you are the follower of uh, the last few classes. In those classes, I mentioned about the resolution of bands several times. The resolution of standard cytogenetic techniques remained limited with a count of about uh, approximately 400 to 500 bands per haploid genome. In this class, you will study the specialized cytogenetic techniques such as high resolution banding. In short, it is called HRB. High resolution banding techniques enable detection of chromosomal rearrangements even within a single major band. Actually, you studied PBLC in previous classes and you saw that use of colosamide or colchicine uh, which prevents the formation of spindle and thereby collects cells with uh, maximum chromosome compaction at the metaphase anaphase border is routinely used for standard metaphase karyotype and chromosome regressions. Genetic diseases are often due to numerical and structural chromosome aberrations. Actually, high resolution banding techniques enable the detection of chromosome rearrangements and are applied in the case of chromosomal aberrations that are insufficiently described by routine cytogenetic techniques. A standard metaphase karyotype with 450 to 550 bands is useful for identifying extra or missing chromosomes, whereas high resolution banding with 550 to 800 bands is effective at identifying more subtle structural abnormalities including the deletions, duplications, translocations and invasions. Fluorescent in situ hybridization, FISH, another cytogenetic technique, has greater specificity for and resolution for identification of micro deletions or duplications that could be missed in a karyotype analysis. So the FISH is routinely used to detect micro deletion syndromes. The number of identifiable bands in any spread, that is any metaphase spread, is related to uh, related with three things. The first one is the degree to which the chromosomes are permitted to condense before harvest. The second uh, thing is the cell type. And the third thing is the method of banding employed. The cells that have been fixed in late prophase or early metaphase stage exhibit minimal chromatin condensation and maximal band resolution. The high resolution R banding and GTG banding technique used today are only possible because several basic methods were standardized and combined together. Actually, four techniques are included in the preparation of high resolution banding. The first one is the use of spindle inhibitors in optimum concentration and optimum duration of exposure. This optimum level, this optimum level and optimum concentration and time duration ensures relatively short exposure to colsamid or colchicine to the cell which produces cell preparations with a very low degree of chromosome condensation and thus results with a high band level or high resolution level. And the second point is the use of hypotonic solutions in optimum concentration and optimum time duration of exposure. The third point is use of methanol acetic acid fixation and air or flame dried slides in optimum concentration and duration of exposure. And the fourth one is use of cell culture synchronization and modified GIMSA techniques. To know the application level minute details about the first three points for experiment purpose, you can refer this article. That is to know more details about how the optimum level, optimum concentration and exposure time is standardized 
when maintaining different cell types cultures you can read this article here we will discuss the fourth point in the list in detail that is the use of cell culture synchronization agents the synchronization of cell culture can be achieved by two ways the first one is by adding chemical agents or by the addition of the dna base analogs that block the progression into the s phase to an actively growing culture for 16 to 20 hours actually the excess thymidin or dna metabolites amitopterin bromodeoxyuridine that is brdu and fluorodeoxyuridine are effective agents for synchronization of cell culture the second method for the synchronization is by using a variety of additives to the cell culture that intercalates into and bind to the dna molecules that inhibit the chromosome condensation in this process ethidium bromide acridine orange and actinomycin d are frequently used in this manner when etbr that is ethidium bromide is added into the cell culture ethidium bromide that is etbr become inserted between the base pairs of the dna in the chromosomes because of the insertion of etbr between the bases of the dna uh, the condensation of the chromosome during mitotic cycle is inhibited so chromosomes will not compact as in normal cells when colchicine is added to block the cells during metaphase the chromosomes are still in an uncondensed stage similar to late prophase because of the intercalation of etbr that is ethidium bromide between the bases so when the chromosomes stained after the treatment with ethidium bromide and colchicine it results approximately 800 bands instead of 400 bands due to the less condensed nature of the chromosome so the minor abnormalities are detectable such as micro deletions and cryptic translocations that may undetected by routine chromosome analysis as a result it gives a better resolution than the conventional banding methods uh, one key element in the preparation of analyzable chromosome spread is the degree of dispersion of the chromosomes on the microscope slide so degree of dispersion means how much spread are the chromosomes on the microscope slide optimal dispersion is influenced by several variables at the time of cell harvest the ideal metaphase spread has all 46 chromosomes dispersed in the same optical field under the microscope with no overlapping of the chromosomes the harvesting procedure involves centrifugation of cell suspension into uh, a cell pellet treatment with a hypotonic salt solution fixation of the suspended cell pellet and dropping of the cells onto the glass slides and each of the steps in the harvesting procedure may influence the dispersion of the chromosomes on the slide that means the dis free dispersion of the chromosomes on the uh, slide this is all about high resolution banding Hope you understand the topic well. Thank you.